Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool tip. Today's tool tip is another product from the lovely folks at Proxon, P-R-O-X-X-O-N. If you remember, I did a tool tip about their rotary cutter, rotary tool, which I love so much, I slapped a magnet on it and it lives here under my workbench full time. Yeah, um, it made it up to the big leagues. <laughs> uh, Proxon makes a whole bunch of small shop tools uh, that are meant for small fabrication. And this wire cutter, this is a tool that I have rarely had as part of my process, but every time I've needed it and used it, it's blown my mind with what it can do. Uh, so uh, a couple of years ago, I pulled the trigger on purchasing this one. Uh, and I have barely run it through its paces, but I've used it enough recently to like be very impressed. I, I love this thing. It is, it is awesome. So to be clear, a wire cutter is simply a, uh, a thin piece of nichrome wire. Uh, and nichrome wire is a wire of a particular tensile strength and uh, 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 alloy that allows it to take electricity and get hot without it changing its properties. A lot of things, when they get hot, they expand. I think nichrome expands a little less. I'm not actually sure, I haven't looked it up, but um, the wire gets hot and it cuts through things that are thermally cuttable, specifically foam. So this is Foamulon. This is uh, Dow's pink home insulating foam. You can get this in most big hardware stores around the country. Uh, I used it to make my Chewbacca boots. I used a bunch of this stuff to make the safe that's now hanging over at Tested. And uh, I actually used this wire cutter a whole bunch on the Chewbacca boot thing and that made me realize ah, I should do a tooltip about this thing. I'm trying to think if there's stuff I should cover here or if I should just cut to an overhead shot. Look, I, the main thing I would like to, to point out about a wire cutter is uh, that you could, it is a very low kerf, low impact, zero dust mode of cutting with foam. And it, there are ways in which it's arguable that you could do like almost every assignment in the first year of an industrial design class using just foam. Uh, it's a super versatile material. And this kind of makes it sing in a way that a uh, few other things could. So it's something to consider if you have a small shop. You can also build your own wire cutters. You can buy nichrome wire in rolls like this. You can buy a power supply for not that much adjustable power supply. So you can adjust the amount of electricity going through that wire. Uh, there are plenty of YouTube videos describing how to make your own wire cutter, both handheld and benchtop. Uh, that is not what this video is about. We're just gonna show you some of the cool things that it does. Um, so uh, just to walk you through the basic operation, it has a form factor similar to a scroll saw, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'm gonna answer my own rhetorical question. Uh, in that we've got this level of depth here. Uh, now the way it works is I've got a spool of what looks like 26 gauge wire up here. And that spool has a tightening knob and that wire goes through a hole here and I can tighten the wire in the hole using this knob. So when I tighten the wire in that hole and I put a little bit of downward pressure on this upper arm and tighten the spool, I end up with this, this, it doesn't, I want it to go ding, 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 it doesn't. But I end up with a wire under just a little bit of tension, which is ideal. Um, yeah, there we go. So wires under a little bit of tension. Uh, you have a power switch, you turn the power switch on, you see the light goes on. Um, and there is a dial with numbers on it and a handy, a handy little chart here, which tells you if you're uh, working with something that's 20 to 50 millimeters in depth, you wanna to go to a level four, or if you have a thing that is 50 to 100 millimeters in depth. So right here, I can say this is 45 millimeters in depth. So I'm gonna say probably level four is what I want. It's just under 50. And here is what happens. I'm just like, I'm just dying to just, I, I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna draw something quickly here. Uh, 
There we go. I have drawn this shape. I'm gonna change the camera angle so you watch the whole thing happen. Okay. We're gonna start here. I love this thing, watch this. Oh, you might wanna wear a respirator while you're doing this if you're doing it a whole bunch. The foam, like you can definitely smell it. I'm just roughly following the line. I am not trying to be too slavishly perfect here. And it's definitely something you get a feel for. If you're gonna purchase one of these and use it in a project, I'd recommend buying a bunch of extra foam so that you had a chance to really practice. That, uh, in fact, almost exclusively, whenever I'm in bringing in a new process, I include plenty of time to actually experiment with and try out some of the things I'm thinking about doing. And this is no different. Um, this is actually almost the same kind of pattern I cut out of my scroll saw when I first bought it. And we're out. Okay, so what did we end up with? We ended up with the world's simplest, uh, the world's simplest jigsaw cutter. The world's single, sorry. <laughs> the world's simplest jigsaw puzzle is what I meant to say. And there you go. That is, yeah. I, uh, that kind of thing thrills me, thrills me. All right, uh, let's look at some of the other things this can do because it comes with a square and you can mount this square in and it's got this wonderful thing. So if you want, what you wanted to do was to cut out, let's say some small strips of material. You put the square here and how do I adjust that? I guess, uh, so yeah, look at this. Like a table saw, you can actually just cut right through. It's kind of an optimal speed. You can feel the material moving underneath and Look at that, perfect cuts, perfect, perfect, perfect cuts. Um, then you wanna make a square, you certainly can. Oh, that's me cutting a little fast. You heard that doing, that's me cutting too fast. Uh, I'm gonna do a second cut and going a little slower. That's it. Oh, again, with the too fast business. Yeah, so you can see here how you could make yourself beams and make a model train set. If you wanted hell's bells, you could, uh, yeah, you could do. Uh... Oh, so, I mean, you could see with thin material, you have tremendous control. Um, you can also do things, you can cut, yeah, if you want to turn it up a bit, you can do stuff like, um, we've done stuff like this. That's a nice little ice cliff pattern there. Yep. Yeah, right, right. Um... You can also make metal templates and put them on pieces and use this to cut them out. I'll demonstrate. There we go. I'm just gonna bring this over. I'm just letting it graze along the edge of the washer. And 
Oh, it's not as beautiful as I was hoping. It's not good looking at all. Why isn't that good looking? Hey, good looking. Um, was it that I went to? Ah, okay. Let's try this. Let me all soften that edge. We're learning how to do this together. You come in a little slow. Oh, I see. It's because I was touching the edge of the metal and pulling on it, I was actually stretching the I was stretching the cable out. Uh, I was stretching the wire out of vertical. That's why I ended up. Okay. Well, that's a, actually a pretty straightforward reason. And this is better looking, but you can still see I've got some issues. <laughs> uh, you can set things up. I mean, dude. I mean, yeah. Look, for craft work, craft, I don't want to say craft. For desktop type work with something like this, this is an unbelievable tool. It provides uh, some tremendous precision at a very low impact. Like I said, zero dust. Uh, turn it off when you're not using it. it certainly, uh, there's a fuse and I blew it in here. Um, it's a really nice wire cutter. I really, really dig it. I've had a couple here. I've had a couple of handhelds. They have tended to wear out. Um, this one with its endless wire and I've got some other wire uh, uh, in stock. Uh, I'm here to recommend the Proxon uh, Thermocut is what they call it. And it is their hot wire foam cutter. Not everything? I think that might be everything. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next time.